the Philadelphia 76ers has managed to double its value in just two years to $1.7 billion. An NBA title could drive that even higher, and the Sixers begin their title chase Saturday with the start of the NBA playoffs. For more on the fate of the fortunes of the 76ers, we're joined by team president Chris Heck. Chris, great to see you today. Congratu congratulations on a great run so far. Oh, thanks. We're, we're having a good time, and uh, we think this is just the beginning. The numbers are really astonishing here. Let me go through some of them. TV ratings in a year were up 40 percent. That you're leading in attendance. Uh, you have the top, you're in the top three of season ticket holders. Um, international sponsorships are returning a lot of money to the value. To what do you owe such incredible success in the value of this company, of this franchise? Sure. I think, um, I think when our managing partners... Josh Harris and David Blitzer put this team together. It was for a long plan, and, and we were looking at a lens that was, let's build it up locally, uh, grow it nationally, and then eventually uh, launch it internationally. And we're at that point right now where we're seeing the fruits of the patience and the labor and the discipline uh, over the last uh, six years. Why do you think NBA has done better overseas, as you just alluded to, uh, particularly in China, than, than some of the other big U.S. sports? And uh, are there things they could replicate, or is it unique to the sport? Well, I think, number one, uh, it all started with the Dream Team uh, in 92 and the popularity globally of that team playing in Barcelona, um, which now has brought the league and the NBA uh, where every team, all 30 teams, have international players. So that's number one and two. Um, and I think that the, um, the, the vision of uh, Adam Silver and David Stern before him uh, set the stage and were just so far ahead of all the other sports leagues throughout the world. When you look at uh, eSports, which, of course, growing very fast, uh, is that a, a threat or an opportunity overall? Oh, we think it's a great opportunity. We, uh, at Harris Blitzer Sports and Entertainment, we actually own uh, uh, Dignitas, which is uh, a number of teams in different sports globally. Uh, but we just added this past year an NBA 2K team. Um, and uh, the NBA uh, launched this league, um, and we've had a, a very robust uh, participation, um, not only with each of the cities, but uh, now having a global view of it. And uh, fortunately, we've had a lot of success, and we're one of the top teams in the league uh, currently. And, Chris, Pennsylvania has now legalized sports betting. What does that do for the commitment, the enthusiasm, and the engagement of your fans? You know, in Philadelphia, there's no better sports fan um, in the world. And uh, they are true uh, to their four core major league teams, um, and certainly the Sixers is right there in the mix. Um, so I think that sports betting is uh, going to be successful in Pennsylvania, um, certainly in the Philadelphia area. Um, but uh, we'll embrace it. Uh, it's part of the world we live in. And uh, we've had some great success um, with some of our other properties uh, outside of Pennsylvania. Chris, there's currently a government investigation into whether or not Nike inappropriately played college basketball players. Is it time that the entire structure, NBA and college uh, basketball, is reformed such that there's no incentives for anything like this to take place in the first place? Well, I, I think that this is a very difficult question. Um, the good news is uh, Adam Silver is running the NBA. Um, we have full faith in, in what he has brought to the table and what his future looks like. Um, I know the collaboration from being a former NBA employee uh, with USA Basketball and the NCAA uh, will be very active. Uh, I think they'll, they'll do the right things. Um, it isn't easy, uh, and this will be uh, something that takes several more years to figure out. But uh, I do trust the leadership there. 